Hello everyone, this is Teacher Cole with another lesson in how to learn English. Today's lesson, we will talk about the past simple tense. We use the past simple tense to talk about things before now. Things that happened before now happened in the past. For example, I watched a movie yesterday. Before now, I watched a movie. By the end of this lesson, you will know how to form the past simple tense, when to use the past simple tense, and we'll study some common irregular verbs. Okay, let's jump in. Let's start with how to form the past simple tense for regular verbs. To form the past simple tense with regular verbs, add ed. Add ed to the present tense verb. For example, play becomes played. Talk becomes talked. Add ed to regular verbs. But what about irregular verbs? Well, here are some examples. Go in present tense becomes went. Eat in present tense becomes ate. These are tricky. They should be studied and memorized. So we have regular verbs like play becomes played. We add ed and we have irregular verbs go becomes went. All right, let's continue. How do we form negative past tense verbs? Well, let's look. In negative verb forms, we use did not and didn't did not gets added to the verb. And sometimes we say didn't. Didn't means did not. For example, I didn't watch TV yesterday. This is also simple past tense, but it is in the negative 
form. But how do we ask a question? Well, we also use did. In the question form, we add did plus the subject plus the base verb. For example, did you watch TV yesterday? That's how we write the question form in the past simple tense. Okay. Let's talk about when to use the past simple tense. Now, we know how to form the past simple tense. Let's talk about when to use it. We use the past simple tense for completed actions in the past. For example, I visited my grandmother last weekend. In this sentence, we talk about completed actions in the past. I visited my grandmother last weekend is a completed action. But we can also talk about actions that happened in a specific time. For example, she arrived at 8 a.m. This is an action that happened at a specific time in the past. We can also talk about a series of completed actions. A series means more than one thing. For example, he woke up brushed his teeth and went to work. This is a series of actions and look, woke in a regular verb brushed a regular verb and went an irregular verb. Okay, let's talk about time expressions. Time expressions are used to signal past tense. For example, a time expression is yesterday. Another time expression is last week. These are expressions or ways of saying something happened in the past. Okay, next 
Let's talk a little bit more about irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are a little tricky because they don't follow the rules of ED or regular rules for past tense. Let's look at some common examples of irregular verbs, which means not regular. Go becomes went, eat becomes ate, have becomes had. These are irregular verbs because you do not add ed to make the simple past tense. Some example sentences could be, we had a meeting, or he went to school. All right, let's practice. Are you ready? I'll write the word, and you try to guess the irregular verb in past tense. What is the irregular past tense of go? What is the irregular past tense of eat? What is the irregular past tense of have. Well, if you said went, you were right. If you said ate, correct. If you said had, good job. All right, let's try one more practice activity. I will write a sentence, and you try to fill in the blank with the correct past tense verb. Yesterday, one of our time expressions, I go is present to the market. Try it out. Next one. We blank play is present tense. Soccer. Try that one. She eat is present tense. Pizza last night. What did you write? Did you write went? Correct. Did you write played? Played is a regular past tense verb. Ate. She ate pizza last night. Good job. Good practice. Okay. We went through the answers. We've talked about simple past tense. We've talked about time.
time expressions, we're coming close to the end of our lesson. I'd like to finish with a few tips to help you master the simple past tense. Okay? When using the simple past tense, use time. expressions. Words like yesterday or last week. It makes it more clear that you are speaking in past tense. Tip number two. Make a list of irregular verbs. That way, writing them, seeing them, day after day, you'll start to memorize them. Your next tip, is to practice daily. You might write in a journal about what you did each day. For example, Today, I studied English with Teacher Cole. All right, let's summarize. Today, we used the simple past tense for actions completed in the past. We studied regular verbs, adding ed, we also studied irregular verbs, which change. We also practiced using time expressions and irregular verbs to improve your English skills. Thank you so much for your attention. If you have any questions or want to learn more, please comment in the, vo in the video below. Like the video and please subscribe so you see when new language learning videos with Teacher Cole are released. Thank you very much.